My name is Simona Millam and together you and I we're going to work through the knowledge that you need to be successful in CompTIA's Project Plus exam, specifically exam number PK0004. As you probably already know, CompTIA produce a, a range of well-known vendor-neutral certifications and you can see some of the ones that CBT Nuggets offers training on right here. But as you might imagine, the Project Plus one is designed to give you something tangible to illustrate your knowledge and skills around managing projects. I would say though that this is what I would describe as a breadth exam rather than a depth one. There isn't really any really difficult or technically deep knowledge required. So for that reason, I think it's a really excellent starting point, an entry level certification if you like, for people relatively new to project management. So the topics tested in this certification include these four areas as shown here, where Project Basics covers a lot of the foundational material such as project properties, you know, what characterises a project, the roles and responsibilities you'll come across in a project, the different project phases, an introduction to project cost control, um, different team structures, of course scheduling, we'll look at a little bit of agile methodology and resource management. Whew. Another key area is common project constraints and their influences along with risks and strategies for managing them. Area number three is communication and change management in a project. And finally, project tools and documentation. Wow, so do you see what I mean? It covers a lot of breadth. Now you will see that well over a third of the marks in the exam come from this big project basics section, with the other sections being worth between 17 and 26% to make up the total of 100%. Now the very first thing I suggest you do to assist with your preparation is to download CompTIA's exam objectives. So if you take yourself to this website here, certification.comptia.org, and then navigate to certifications, now this website might change of course, but I'm pretty sure there'll always be a link to the list of certifications available, and choose Project Plus. And there is a bit of information here about the exam, which is well worth a look, but what you really need is the exam details section just here. And to get the document outlining the exam objectives, you'll need to register by filling in your details. Now, you might also be pleased to see that there are some practice questions too. But a word of warning, it appears to me that this is just one set of practice questions for both the older 003 version of the exam and the current 004 version. So by all means, use them to get a feel for how the questions are worded. But don't be surprised if they don't feel very aligned to the content listed in the exam objectives. Also, while you're on this page, note the number and the type of questions that you'll get in the exam. So you'll have a maximum of 95 questions, which are mainly multiple choice. And where there are multiple responses required, it will tell you how many you need to choose. You get 90 minutes to take the exam and you can see that you need to get 710 points to pass it. And it says here that it's recommended that you have 12 months of project management experience. However, that is just a recommendation. I would say that it really is perfectly achievable to pass this exam with no or limited project management experience. And that's where this course comes in to help you do that. Anyway, once you've downloaded the course objectives, you'll see that it's a pretty comprehensive document of several pages long, and this course maps exactly to these objectives, with this first module covering points 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3 here, and then of course subsequent modules will cover the rest of the content. But you'll also notice that towards the end of the document, there is a list of acronyms that you need to know for the exam, and throughout the nuggets in this course, I've used this graphic to indicate that we're talking about an acronym listed on this page. So my main objective of this course, if it's not already glaringly obvious, is to help you prepare for the exam. We'll be going through that exam objectives document covering every single bullet point and I'll be giving you some guidance along the way as to how you can apply your knowledge in the exam. And with that same objective in mind, at the end of each module, I've included a whole nugget with some practice questions for you to give us an opportunity to recap on the key content of that module and also to help you to uncover where your gaps are and where your weak spots are and therefore what extra revision you need to do. Now, there is, of course, more to know about project management than we'll cover in this training course, but I've designed the course to give you the information you need to pass the exam. And if you're brand new to the world of project management, then a happy side effect will be an increased knowledge of the foundational topics of project management. And that's what makes this certification a brilliant step towards progressing your career in project management. So let's get started. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.